Hello there, my name is Metembe Thomas Chuma. Welcome to the Son of Kama podcast on Facebook this time. So today I want to do an interesting topic which is um, where I want to talk about uh, finding out who owns you and how much you pay them every year. You give them money and, you, and, the, and it goes straight to their pockets. So by own you, I don't mean like you are their slaves or anything like that. I just mean in the sense that you can't live without them and they essentially are giving you giving you life you know they're bringing life into you every day but like if they disappeared you probably wouldn't be able to live for a very long time okay so the way that i want to structure this thing and i want to structure it in two parts i want to first start by talking about the the the, the zimbabwe stock exchange or stocks stock exchanges in general and then i'm going to show you uh how you can find out who owns you by reading or studying uh different uh what do you call them different uh financial statements and how the having an understanding of that zimbabwe stock exchange can actually help you to decide to to discover who owns you and and how much you're paying them and maybe or maybe work towards a solution to to freeing yourself essentially right so basically the stock exchange maybe if you know what what, what the stock exchange is this video isn't for you stock exchange there's a there are companies uh, essentially what they do they have an initial public offering where they uh, uh, break their company ownership and into small pieces which are called shares and so where so you go to them and then you give them money and you are given or you now own a certain a certain percentage of 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 the company you know now you have a percentage of a share you know they uh tell you how how much money they, you want they want you give them you get the shares okay so if the company does well and and the more people want to buy the shares the prices go up because there's more people who want to buy the shares but the shares they are they are they're in a, in, a, in a finite supply and so that's how the the, the 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 stock exchange works and then there's obviously it's there for different different companies but then sometimes what these clever companies do one eh? there's big companies they go up and then they buy smaller companies uh, which are called subsidiaries but then they are also listed in the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange as different companies. For example, Simbisa Brands is owned by Insco, which I'm going to talk about in a, in a few minutes. And and in and Simbisa Brands is also on the stock exchange. Same with Insco, right? Okay. So now we have covered that. So there's this interesting thing that I I I I, I, I realized, right? A lot of people, most people, uh. Maybe like me, you yeah. eat bread every day. You you consume uh, alcoholic beverages here and there. And uh, do you know uh, that uh, Delta Delta owns hundred percent. It it owns uh, this company, uh, African Distillers, which makes a lot of uh, a lot of whiskeys and, and and spirits and those types of drinks. And but. Delta Delta Beverages is also owned in part by Old Mutual, which is a company in South Africa, and then is also owned uh, in another part. I think it's thirty six percent is also owned by uh, Sub Miller. But Sub Miller is a company which is owned by Up in Bev. It's a, it's a it's an abbreviation. Up in Bev Up in Up in Bev is a company that is based in a, based in uh, Belgium, right? So, uh, whenever you are buying a drink from Delta, part of that money they take it and then they give it to uh, up in uh, to to up in Bev because they are a part owner. They have got thirty six percent shares. So uh, some of the profit it does it doesn't go to 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 the local people. It goes where it goes to Belgium because that's where the headquarters of. Of 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 Abin Bev is and and um, ask yourself how much is Delta Delta Beverage is making? What is this 
forty percent or thirty six percent of uh, of the money of of the profits that they are entitled to. Uh, well, that is uh, for twenty twenty one and inflation adjusted. Uh, this means is after inflation. And if you read the financial statements, the financial statements they are available on the website of the of the companies, right? So uh, in twenty twenty one. Uh, Delta beverages they made uh, 40, 40 million <laughs> 40 billion four hundred and forty six uh yeah forty billion four hundred and forty six dollars in Zimbabwean dollars but then it was during that time before before the inflation got got crazy so this is this means maybe it was uh, uh in the um, in the hundreds of millions when you when you're using uh us dollars so that's how much money that that they made right and and regardless of the fact that the situation is is difficult things are tough you know people can't get jobs and and salaries they are st- they are, they are still still the same regardless of the increase of the cost of living right and then we we go to a company uh, another company um national foods right no national foods they own uh zim gold uh, uh king curls those those snacks they own red seal mahatma rice national food stock feed red seal gloria palenta better buy they own all of those and that's just one company that's is the national foods but then national foods is also owned by insco see what i'm talking about <laughs> It's, it's crazy how much, how deep in your, in your pockets these people are, you know, and, and in, uh, and in 2021, they made, uh, in terms of revenue, this is National Foods, they made, uh, more than, uh, 30 billion. Yeah, more than, yeah, yeah, more than 30 billion. Zimbabwean dollars though. So if you adjust it for inflation, it's going to be around hundreds of millions of years. Your US dollars. That's how much you pay them every day when you go to when you go to the store. You buy some bread, and and it compiles at the uh, it compiles. You know, compiles, compiles, compiles. You buy bread every day. They someone buys bread every day. Everyone someone buys uh, stock feed. Someone buys this. Someone buys that. Someone buys this. And every time that you buy that, all that money is sliding into the pockets. Of 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 these guys at the, at National Foods, but then they are owned uh, by by Insco, so then Insco gets all of the bread. So now you're asking yourself, what does Insco own? You keep talking about Insco, Insco, and 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 how much they own. Okay, so his, this is what Insco owns, right? The uh, Insco owns National Foods, thirty seven percent of it. And then they own Baker's in hundred percent of it. Then they own profits. Uh, profits they provide um, profits. <laughs> they own they own fifty uh, percent of that. And then they own fifty percent of uh, of Ivans. Those that company that purchases eggs for people who want to start uh, chicken chicken businesses. They own fifty percent of that. And then they own hundred percent of Colcom feeds, of, of Colcom. Yeah. What or call call, however you want to say it. Then they own fifty percent of pro of pro bottlers, uh, forty percent of of pro brand, pro brands, and then fifty percent of pro diary and fifty percent, sixty percent of of national packing. Oh my God! And this is not even covering the 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 other brands that I still haven't mentioned. You know, they also own uh Simbisa brands. Oh my God! And and some of brands own owns the the your chicken ins, your pizza ins, those types of things. That's how much they own you. To like to the point where when you wake from the moment that you wake up in the morning to eat something to to eat your breakfast to the moment that you go to bed and and have a little snack or during the middle of the day when it's hot you want to have have a have a have a sip of something cool you're probably going to be paying this guy something it's crazy it's incredible how much how they fucking did it it's it's really smart i i have to give uh, credit where credit's due but 
we have to realize as a people that this is this is how much we are owned and all of this is not even a secret it's uh, in it's public information because for these companies to be listed in the stock exchange it is required by the security exchange commission of zimbabwe for them to uh, put out this information publicly so you can access it if you find out if you want to find out how much which company owns you and how much they own you you can look around your house and then you can see oh this is what i buy every day this is what i consume every day this is what i pay for every day and then you can find out if the company is publicly listed and then you go there and then you're gonna read uh their financial statements is gonna show you clear as day how much money they are making from you it's uh, it's incredible you know no matter how how tough the economy always is no matter how bad the situation is situation always is these people they always 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 be making their bread and maybe it's time for you to consider freeing yourself from this burden i don't know i don't know anything i don't know a lot of things but i know how to read financial statements so thank you for watching this video i hope it provided some value to you and inspired you to start thinking more and and living more holistically I don't, I don't know what that, what that even means. But anyways, uh, son of karma here, out.